Have y'all ever noticed that Jesus didn't have a problem hanging with anybody? Did y'all ever notice that? He would, hang out, he would hang out with holy men and hookers at the same time. He would, hang out with, he, he would hang out with people that were rejected as if they were holy and princely. And see, a lot of us don't understand that because we try to make everybody in the church look the same. But I got to tell you, if, if, if you don't got some friends with felonies, you don't understand the world. And so, but what that means, though, because we all share the spirit, what that means is, though, you can't reject nobody. You don't have the authority to reject or push anybody away because they share the same spirit in God that you have. No matter if they go to church every Sunday and it ain't been but once in their life, they have just as much God. God is inhabiting their life just as much as you. And so you don't have the authority to reject them. And what that means is the one who talked about you is a part of Christ. You can't reject them. The one who abused you shares in that same Holy Spirit that's connected to you, and you can't reject them either. You just don't have that authority. But that also means you don't have the authority to reject you either. You don't have the authority, the ability, the understanding to look at yourself and say, I'm not good enough. That's outside of your pay grade. That's not within your job description. God created you. He knew why he created you, and he created you the way he created you because it is special to him. So you don't have any right to reject yourself because the Bible says we are in Christ. And if you reject you, that means you reject Christ. And Christ has already been rejected once. That's why the Bible says it was dark from the sixth to the ninth hour because he was wearing our sins. And God says, I got to take this light even off my son. I think he's been rejected enough. How dare you look at you, say you're not good enough, and, try and reject Christ on the cross dying for your sins. And so point I'm trying to make here is rejecting the body is equal to rejecting Christ. See, I, I, I'm, I'm speaking both physically and spiritually. 